Hello, I'm Dane, and this is Dane Explains. I'm pretty sure we're all well aware of the three spatial dimensions we live in. However, Einstein came up with the idea of space-time, which treats time as if it's a spatial dimension when doing calculations. Well, how is this dimension of time different from the three spatial dimensions? What would happen if there were two dimensions of time rather than just one? Let me explain. <music> Before I go into what adding a dimension of time would do, let me explain a little bit about the concept of space-time. Einstein imagined time as if it's an extra spatial dimension that we can only travel one way in, sort of like a one-way street rather than a two-way street. Then to come up with all the oddities of relativity, he imagined that everything must be traveling through space-time at the speed of light at all times. So if you're not moving one of the three spatial dimensions, then you're moving through time at the speed of light, keeping with the pace of everything else that's not moving. If you move in one of the three spatial dimensions, then to always be going exactly the speed of light, you have to be moving more slowly in the time dimension. So the faster you go through space, the slower you go through time. So if it were possible to reach the speed of light, which it's not for something with mass like us, you would be paused in time because all of your motion would be in the space direction and none of the time. This is what causes the odd effect of time dilation. If you're going really fast in space, you're going really slow in time because you're always going the speed of light through space time. So increasing your velocity in space is actually changing the angle of your vector through space time from an all time direction to one that has some space component. The magnitude stays the same. So what would happen if we added an extra dimension of time? Well, that depends on a few things. If we can only control our time vector by moving through space, absolutely nothing would change that we could notice. The reason for that is everything originated from the same point in the past, the Big Bang. So everything would have the same vector in time that everything else has. Now if the vector of time could be changed to have two dimensions somehow, if you could change your vector to favor one dimension of time or the other, all you would notice is the people who stayed in the other vector would be traveling through time at a different rate than you. Ironically, this is the same thing that happens to spatial dimensions. Why? because we can interact with them. The moment you're able to interact with the dimensions, it goes from appearing to be a time-like dimension to being a space-like one. There is a side case here though. If the universe had two dimensions of time that we couldn't interact with, but if a particle's vector in these time dimensions started in a random direction at the beginning of the universe, then different particles would all appear to be traveling through the time at different rates, depending on how different their time vectors were when they started. Basically, this would be just like the first case, except there would be many universes running on slightly different non-parallel trajectories. In fact, because of that, shortly after the start of the universe, as soon as the distance between the particles in the two time dimensions exceeds the width of a particle, they would disappear from each other, never to be seen again. So, that's some good evidence that if there were more dimensions of time, everything in our universe is on exactly the same vector. The upshot is, every dimension we can't interact with is a dimension of space and every one of them that we can't interact with is a dimension of time. That's why I pointed out in my previous video, there could be an infinite number of time dimensions and we wouldn't even know it. So what would happen if there were two extra dimensions of time? Nothing. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and ding the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Also, please support me on Patreon link in the description. The more people support me, the more time I can dedicate to making videos like this one. So until next time, have a great week.